this thing on? I think it is. Oh my gosh. How are you guys? We are finally back with another Doctor Who reaction. But we are not doing classic Who. We are doing new Who. Absolutely. This episode is called Space babies. Ooh, child. Let me let you guys know. I have avoided everything with this episode. I, for some reason, I still got um, the vast majority of people when I went on my Instagram for 2.5 seconds. I did see a lot of people said they loved the first episode. So I'm really excited to getting to be getting into this new introduction of Doctor Who. It's a new introduction for me. We have a new doctor, a new companion, a new kind of flow, um, and and obviously the build up and this doctor in particular is very new since he split. It, right um i'm trying to think what was the la the last episode was it's saying it was the eve of the daleks i don't think so wasn't it wasn't it something else it, it doesn't really matter the last episode that we did see i loved it it was a christmas special i think um <laughs> i don't really remember anything but i'm ready to get into this i think i saw somewhere that this is gonna start from this weekend and it's gonna last until like almost the ending of june I think it was, I think it's sad. Um, but regardless, there's so much shows, there's so many shows coming up um, back to back. So I'm gonna be in freaking heaven this month and next month. I'm so excited. So, you wanna see this in a full reaction? I know you do. The links are down below. If you wanna click onto the Patreon link or as well as the YouTube channel membership, click one, click both. Just join the ex Extended family today. Now, without further ado, oh, let's jump into Doctor Who yeah, and find out exactly what the Doctor has got to give. I'm the Doctor. I'm the doctor. Right. It's called the TARDIS. Oh. <laughs> I don't know your name. Yeah, that's uh, that's tricky. <laughs> because I was adopted, these <laughs> titles like the Doctor or the Bishop or the Rani, say Doctor for a thousand years and it becomes my name. You're a doctor, but you're the police? I landed in 1963 and he used to have police boxes on street corners. 1963? My world is called Gallifrey. Gallifrey? Mm. Ruby, it's gone, it's gone. It was a genocide and they died. I'm the last of the Time Lords. Why am I crying? This thing flies. It does. Uh, oh. <laughs> a random landing. Whoa! We're ready there. Are there dinosaurs out there? I don't know. <gasps> Let's find Go out. What if I change history by stepping on a butterfly or something? Well, that's <laughs> not gonna happen, is it? <laughs> Wait, uh, come here, butterfly. Come here, Alice. <laughs> that's so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> this OV North America. <gasps> Don't talk about the guys! Oh! What's wrong? If you have made an incorrect accusation, I will have to kill you. No, no. Am I missing something? <laughs> the butterfly <laughs> compensation <laughs> switch. Good. <laughs> right. Yes. Six, 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 oh, five numbers, I like it! That transport like in Star Trek. <laughs> we gotta visit them one day. Wrong with this place? It is a space station reaching overload. What in the holy fuck? Rupert, is there such thing as monsters? It's just... What is creatures you haven't met yet. <laughs> run, run, run! The question is, why did I run? I love meeting new things, so why did it give me the shivers? Push the button. 
fucking god! Oh, we're on a baby farm! What is it with you and babies? I was gonna say the same thing to you. This place grows babies. What for? Food? Food? What? What? Is babies human? Yeah? Yeah, grown for a colony world. One last time, push the button. Oh, beautiful. We made it. The human race, we survived. Ten minutes ago, Doctor, just ten minutes ago, you said genocide. How do you keep going? For days like this, Ruby Sunday. I don't have a boss or taxes or rent or bills to pay. I don't have a purpose. I have freedom. And sometimes, it looks even better through your eyes. Planet Pacifico del Rio. Oh, that's in English. Is what it really looks like, but the TARDIS translates. It's got a perception filter. What? Carla, phone her. But your mum, Ruby, call your mum. Yes, mum, obviously. You've just ran out the door 10 seconds ago. Why are you phoning me? Oh, hey, I'll catch up with you in a minute. All right, let me answer you, Merry Christmas. The best signal ever, how much that cost? I <laughs> want to know what the hell is wrong with this place. It's calm up here, but underneath it is seething, just like downstairs with that creature. I keep getting these temperature fluctuations. I'm flipping up safe people from 10 to 6. Hi. Mommy, you tapped it. Oh no, 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 no absolutely not. What? what? <laughs> Everyone back to work. Show Mommy and Daddy what a good job we've been doing. Make them proud. For this string and that string, I'm not sure what they do, but I pull them very hard. I'm Captain Ooh. Poppy, and I kept the station running. For mommy and daddy. You're not supposed to be running this place. This isn't baby world. We took over. We were very brave. Right. I'm so sorry, but we are not your mommy and daddy. At all. I wish we were. Ruby. And this. This is the doctor. Me. Captain Poppy, when was the last time that you had a hug? Never. Uh -huh. Come on, come on, come on. According to this, the crew went home. They abandoned ship and they left you guys behind. Baby size, space babies. But are we wrong? We're not meant to be like this. Did we grow up wrong? You are what you are, and that is magnificent. Little baby me was left alone in the middle of outer space. I am absolutely lovely, aren't I? There's no one like me in the whole wide universe. No problem, Captain Bob's. It's a superpower. How do you manage? All on your own? We've got Nanny. We have visitors, children. Nanny! No things must be blown. Blown. <laughs> well done, children. Downstairs, is that your pet dog? Pokemon! More sort of like a uh, <laughs> Why is it so scary? But <laughs> Nani, these babies are trying their best. Space babies, something is ramping up down with the boogeyman list, and if that continues, baby boom. Storage unit, what would I need to go there for? Oh for God's sakes! 357, come on! Help! That's like your purpose. No, no, I'm just uh helping babies. Space babies. We're abandoned like this long. If uh, things connect, then you are connecting like crazy. Just left. Damn. By the church. In the snow. In Ruby Road. It's snowing. Why is it snowing? It's like a memory just came through. Say what? I have been to the ends of time and back and I have never seen anything like this before. Oh, I thought oh. my birth was crazy. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> there she is. Your mother. Who is your mother? Her memory changed. Don't just stand there yapping, you pair of idiots. Get inside! Pacifico Day is that Bridgerton? Is that Queen? Record, the company's actions are appalling. I will be launching an appeal against this as soon as we're home. The crew like went home the and left the babies behind. Space babies. Yes. It's the recession. What? How did you arrive? I was the on-site accountant. I don't know how this place works. That should recalibrate the whole shebang. Refuse to stop the babies being born. But once they're born, they don't look after them. Couldn't leave them. Mm. I tried with this place, but I'm not an engineer. I've been all on my own. 
watching the kids for six years. I don't understand. But I want to see them die. Oh. It's a closed station. There's only so much air, there's only so much food. Can't you fly somewhere else? Station, stationary. <laughs> no engines, this great big thing can't move. The fifth planet out, Mondu Karun? That's the Dubarry Duplessis world. Oh! It means they can take in lots of refugees. Oh! Well, well, can't we call them for help? You physically have to turn up on someone else's shore. Wow. Between us and the ship is the bogeyman. It's not like anything I've ever seen. What is its skin made of and why was I so scared? The place is completely <laughs> mad, but it sort of makes sense. It's a children's story. Come to life. Is it That's Eric! Is this Eric? Eric, get out of there. Eric, for God's sake, run! She said there's no such thing as the bunny. So I'm going to find the naughty dog and tell him all. Oh my God, it's my fault! These systems are a crock of waste products. Mind your language, ah. Nanny. A ton of noise, then the bogeyman will come for us and leave Eric alone. Yes? Heard you. Okay, nice plan, but what now? Because I can detect. <gasps> Space baby! Oh, People are really upset. Oh. Not west, I'm at east. <laughs> ah. What? Telling me to leave you on your own, man. Well, come on. Well, let's go. Journey awaits. I understand you. Six years ago, it was like a rattling in the pipes. The bogeyman. Well, the bogeyman. I don't know how it even exists. It's leaving. Where's it going? Let's do it. What the bleep bleep is that? I can get this to your machine. It could analyze it. The machine's got a vent in the basement. This stuff is slippy roots. Oh. Ah, ha, 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 ha. This gunk stuff is sealing the whole place off. According to the machine. Oh. It has been right in front of us. We've been saying it all along. It's all one machine. The why? machine is mother and father to the babies and mother and father to the bogeyman. And why? Oh. We invented the bogeyman. For the baby. For the space baby. Oh, the machine uh -huh. is literally like. The bogeyman is roaring at 17 hertz. That's the exact pitch designed to make you scared. What? Oh, Ruby. What? I've seen many, many things. Nothing <laughs> is as bad as this. The machine is literal. And the name. It's Pokemon. Buggers? Buggers. The machine was literal. It's not. It's not. Oh, Ruby, it is a living sneak. Oh, is it the universe, man? Oh, yeah, it just made a long trust. It's not. Pokemon. Ah. It's calibrated. It's brilliant. It's got control at last. Come in, come in, come in. It's catching up. You can tell me later, once I've got rid of it. That's an airlock. Set right next leg, you'll get to the left. What about you? Left! Set right next leg! What? Stop it, Nanny! Stop it! How do you keep going? For days like this. We still love you, Nanny. Yay! Yay! But... Oh. 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 
out that build up of pressure hull 3B is from you! Stacked up all your nappies. <laughs> no wonder he was stinking down there. I am gonna let it rip! <laughs> I love you, baby. <laughs> I'm not doing for you then. No, no, no. That was extra special enough. I have the whole universe at my fingertips. And I'm all on my own. We did almost die. Yes, uh -huh. but we lived so much too. Yes, we did. Yes. 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 Oh my god. Yes. 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 <laughs> right, mate, let me tell you where we're gonna go. <laughs> there is one thing that I can never do. Get to that church on Ruby Road that Christmas. Change. One thing, a single snowflake. That could change your birth mother's story. I think that snow was a warning. Well, it's a pity. Because I disagree. We are going to go see my mom at Christmas. Right now. What's that noise? Slap me. The people from my world, they use titles. Like the bishop. My name was... What? Well, well. Space babies. Space. So that was a very good episode. It was really good. So it's crazy. Now, I don't wanna say, no, it was good. I, first off, if you hate that episode, that episode full of babies, these adorable children, these children were absolutely adorable. And then they spoke to you and they were, they were doing their big ones in their little wheelchairs. They're spinning around, living their absolute best life in space. So I wanted to read like what the meaning of that episode was. And I think I'm gonna try to do that if I could find it with after every ending of the episode, if I can't figure it out myself, which I kind of was thinking one thing, but when I looked it up, this is what it told me. The doctor and Ruby are both abandoned orphans, which is Davy's very clever way of reworking the whole timeless child concept from his predecessor. So it makes sense that their first adventure together would take them to a station full of abandoned babies, abandoned children. We've gone from baby to baby. Um, so that's their connection. The doctor, and he said it during this episode, that he was, um, he, he told his whole story, which I found very fascinating. Actually, to tell you the truth, I don't know why, but when the doctor was explaining why he's called the doctor, and that pretty much he has no name, I was like, oh, wait a second, but then at the end, he said my name was, or something like that. Um, but although the timeless child kind of let us know that a little bit, I still was like, kind of curious, like, what's the doctor's name? Like, I don't know his name. I wanna know what the doctor's name is. Like, I I came to co the conclusion that I'll never know what the, do like, we'll never know, like, if he had his actual name, at least not yet, at least nobody is going there. And then when he was explaining it, and that where he came from, they all had like these nicknames and stuff like that, everything clicked with me and I was like, oh, so is that why he's called a doctor? So the doctor is actually really, really, really his name. Now, I know somebody is typing ferociously down below. Andres, you've been watching Doctor Who for years now, and it just is dawning on you why he's called the doctor. Absolutely. So I really liked the fact that, and I do like the fact that Ruby and the doctor are both like pretty much adopted children. And so it, as this does say, it does make sense going on our first voyage with children who clearly have been abandoned. Um, it, they're all connecting. Now, the monster in this was absolutely disgusting now that we know what it was, which was uh, boogers. Um, and then it, 
to think, when you say it out loud, that the whole premises of this particular episode with the bad, bad guy, not bad guy, um, bad monster, not bad monster, was really boogers. It sounds super weird, right? Like if I was gonna explain my to my friends about this show, about this episode, which they wouldn't know, and I got to the point where like, okay, and boogers is what made the monster. It had this whole hold on the on the spaceship. They'd be like, what? <laughs> I'm not watching this. Like, like, but then I would tell them about the classic Who, right? Or or the new Who, oh five where the first episode dealt with um, mannequins, moving mannequins, shooting freaking lasers out their arms. So they would be like, what? You know, and then I would tell them about Classic Who and uh, about planets of, of ants and insects going one-on-one -on -one and making a bunch of weird noises and moths flying and talking like birds. So overall, like, I mean, what you expect? It's Doctor Who, absolutely. So I liked it. I really did. And then, you know I'm not going to forget the lady who plays the queen in Bridgerton, which I'm also excited to be getting into the new season this week. Yeah, this week, Thursday, I believe. Um, so seeing her was like, yes, I'm getting Bridgerton and she's here. Love her. Um, and she was the nanny. So, that was also very good. I feel like the acting was amazing. I loved how they made the children look like they were talking. Besides Eric, Eric always looked like he did not want to really be there. This child was like, listen, this is borderline child abuse. And I'm telling you, keep the paycheck. I don't want to be on the show. Um, but <laughs> everything else was amazing. I really did. I honestly, to tell you the truth, when we first got to this new space area and I saw dinosaurs. I thought we were going to stay there and I was going to be beyond excited because I really want to be around dinosaurs, right? She stepped on a butterfly. She turned into whatever the holy hell that was. Um, maybe that was the butterfly. And I was really excited. I was excited, but then we changed it and we ended up in space. So whatever. But, um, the next episode, it seems like that's when we're going to get Jinx Monsoon. I believe that's how you say, um, her name. And I'm very excited to be getting there. I cut off the preview, so I don't know what it looked like. I just saw uh, a fro, the doctor having a fro, and then I cut it off. I didn't, I didn't, I don't want to see anything. Um, but overall, on this particular episode, I think, I'm trying to think as a person who doesn't love Doctor Who, and them saying, you know what, what's this? And they put it on. I feel like, this particular episode didn't give you a cliffhanger and if it for for the casual viewer or a viewer who's never seen the show they would have gone into this and been like what am i watching and then at the ending of it i don't think i don't think it gave you a cliffhanger where if you weren't invested in the story the 46 minutes of the story and not knowing the history of doctor who you might not get into another episode and that's the danger zone. Now, I'm just being honest, and this is my personal opinion. Please do not cut me down in the comments. But I'm just, you know, thinking overall, like, you know, so there's that. Um, but for me, as a person who loves Doctor Who and loves this actor and loves the way he's portraying the Doctor, and I love Ruby. Like, I love Ruby. I love her. I love her family. I just, I just love them all. So I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. I wanted to stay there some more. Um, I'm kind of mad that I had to wait another episode, another week for another episode. But I'm loving it it so far. It's gorgeous. The cinematography is cinematographing. It is, the acting is acting. The, the beautifulness of this episode is just by far, as soon as it starts to end, it's gorgeous. The palette is gorgeous. Um, I'm digging the music. I have to get used to the, no, no, I actually, I like the new intro of, of the, you know, of Doctor Who, because I still get my, you know, my jazz in. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. You know, I still get to do one of those, the ones to the twos. Um, so I'm trying to think where, I think that the story where they gave the villain, it was kind of wonky, right? With a booger monster. Um, but then it was saved 
once again with the talking babies. And then it was saved again with the lady from Bridgerton. And then it was saved again by the doctor and Ruby. They're just amazing, amazing. I just feel like those two, these two actors mesh. It just meshes. So I'm excited, y'all. I'm excited. I'm sitting back. I'm waiting. Um, there's only one episode, right, of Doctor Who that came out? Yeah, only one episode. Um, so I'm here for it. Um, yeah, only one episode. <laughs> I'm like, did they drop two? Um, but I, I see only one. But I'm ready for the next episode. I can't wait. I'm kind of confused too, because somebody was like, yes, Jinx Monsoon. So I honestly thought she, she Jinx Monsoon was going to be in this one. I thought as the maestro, she's playing the maestro. I thought she was going to appear in this first episode, but she did not. But regardless, I'm here for the ruckus. I'm here for the noise. Thank you guys so much for being here. While you are getting up and going to check out another Doctor Who reaction or just whatever else you're going to check out on YouTube, don't forget to hit me with the likes, the shares, and don't forget to comment down below. I will see you all next time with more Doctor Who. Ooh. Yeah.